Hello and welcome to this instalment of Mentors Hacks. My name's Matt Denton, this is my nephew Ruben, and uh, it's a pretty miserable day outside, so we thought we'd build some Lego together. But what's better than building Lego? Giant, Giant Lego! Lego. <laughs> All of that in the shop. Lego motors. Ah! We started with the go-kart, about a hundred pieces, yeah. a forklift truck. 200 about 200 pieces and then we did the bulldozer which is about 300 and yeah 380 pieces something around that which was good fun wasn't it yeah. this one is um i think it's a couple of hundred <laughs> pieces i'm not entirely sure i haven't counted them up you think it might be a plane. a plane because it's got two big wheels and then one small wheel okay well i haven't showed ruben what we're building yet i think we're just going to start building and see what happens it's there. Um, let's have a little sort out. If you're enjoying these giant Lego builds, please subscribe. Let's start. Nice Lego hinge. One of the largest plates I can fit on my printer bed, which is a, a Lolzbot Taz 6. This is supposed to be an 8x4 plate. So rather than do that, I take a look at the instructions and as it happens, there's a piece that will go across here, which will join it together. So I just print it in smaller parts. I've already looked at the kit and seen where all the axles go mm. and I've done this is the my modified version which is loose fit and it takes one of these bearings and that should pop into there but a shot on this camera be easier there we go there's one in we get another bearing out and we put one in the other oh. side now that will give a nice fit for oh. our axle That's about so nice, isn't it? and then it's a nice smooth rotation. I've made the fit on most of these gears and um, bushes and stuff loose so that they fit really easily. Trying to get a snug fit quite often they've got too snug and then they wouldn't move at all. So I've got my soldering iron. Where's our bushing? Oh okay. So what we do is we take the iron and there's a flat surface in there and we just melt the plastic to score it. See that? This is a little score mark down there. It's Already it's stiffer. Yeah? Do you know what it is? No. It's called a universal joint. If you've got an axle like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, can, like to make it lean. Yeah, you can make it go around a corner. Oh. So you can put you can transfer torque motion oh, cool. around a corner. As long as you don't go too the angles are not too extreme. The material I used for this project was Polymaker's Polylite PLA. I found it easy to print, there's no warp and there's a great range of colours. Some of the more challenging parts such as these very satisfying Lego turntables are printed in several parts and then glued together as one piece. Oh yes Ruben, look at that. Definitely wheels. Yeah. What do you reckon it is? Tractor. Tractor. I print the majority of my parts with two bottom layers, three top layers, two perimeters, 15% infill and a layer height of 0.4 millimeters. It looks pretty much like a tractor, doesn't it? And we got yeah, some tires. Yeah, there's only three wheels. There is only three wheels. That was the big wheels from the forklift. And they're pretty cool. We can put them on. Have you been hiding them? The Shut your eyes. Okay. <laughs> That's just the hub. There we go. Have a look at that. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's bigger than the head. That's a tire. Let's see if you can get that in. Oh, that's actually nice and easy to get in. Next time, can we have bigger wheels? Than I this? don't think we can get any bigger than that. Look at it. Go kart. Forklift. Tractor. <laughs> the tyres are printed using Polymaker's Polyflex material. Due to their massive size, I had to print these tyres in quarters and join them together using keyways and glue. Each quarter of the tyre takes about 13 hours to print. This process would be a lot longer if it wasn't for the fact I was using a Morstruder by Lulzbot with a 1.2mm nozzle. 
I haven't tried these wheels on at all yet, so no idea. Well, they slipped, slop. This one went on pretty easily. That's it. Look at that. Are the wheels the best thing ever? Yeah. Cool. Steering's good. And this is the three point hitch, so that raises and lowers whatever equipment's on the back. So yeah, I haven't built the entire kit because the entire kit comes with a whole implement on the back. So I've built something that we can try and put on there and see if this three point linkage system works, yeah? There's a power takeoff there, there's a cog that spins round. Oh, you see that? that? So that could drive another implement on the back. Oh, yeah. so we put pins in the bottom here. Okay, there's, there's the top link. It's a bit stiff. And drop massive your, wheels. Drop your plough down. Massive, mahoosive. mahoosive. This kit is pretty cool. It has rack and pinion steering. It's got the universal joint. These new massive tyres and wheels, which were the biggest at the time. And I like it. Let's have a look what it looks like on the floor. Files for this project and previous Giant Lego builds will be available on my Thingiverse account, Mantis Robot. Okay, that wraps up this uh, Christmas edition of this Giant Lego build. It's very festive because... It's red. It's red and red is festive. There's lots more information in the description section, such as the materials that I've used here and the printers. Don't forget to check out the other series in this Giant Lego yeah. projects because we've done three other Giant Lego builds so far. And the most important thing... Please don't forget to... <laughs> Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and bye for now. Yeah, exactly that. Anyway.